Okay, so what we're going to do is a quick video on how to get Lightbox up and running on your website. So we go up to this website here, you can Bing it or Google it, and you'll get to this one here. Okay, download it. Once you've downloaded it, you get a zip file, right click, extract. Inside the folder you will find all these Lightbox stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to call it test, so it's a nice empty folder. I'm going to use Visual Studio just for something different. So I'm going to file, I'm going to say open website and on my desktop I have my test folder. And I'll open this guy up. I will just say yes to that. Excellent. Now this is an empty folder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a uh, new item. Oh. And I'm going to just scroll down so I can see HTML page here. And I'm going to show an index.html. So, this is all my HTML stuff here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag the index of Lightbox into it. Okay, so this is all the code that Lightbox uses on that page that we saw. Alright, so if I go back to here, double click it, alright, let's close this guy down, close down the live one. So, as you can see, this is now my desktop, this is the local version. So, as you can see, we're going to need the CSS, we're going to need the images, and we're going to need the JavaScript. Easiest way, just right click, copy that, then I go to my desktop into my test folder, I'm going to paste these guys here. Okay? Now, this index page here is my new one. Okay, so this is going to be my new, um, new Lightbox page. So, over here, I'm just going to refresh. I should the refresh button, so that's my CSS that's come in, all the images they use and so forth, and the JavaScript. Okay, now, the file, the parts of the file that you need to take, that's the important part that we're looking at. So what I need to take is I need to take this style sheet. So we're just going for the bare minimum. So style sheets, alright, if you take a look here, up near the top of the page, inside the head, right. so confirm the navigation CSS lightbox inside the CSS folder lightbox excellent good now what we're going to do is we're going to go for the uh, a single image so notice here the h3 stuff in between these two divs I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to put that in the body paste it like that so this is the two single images okay so that's part of it so now if I just um, save that if I go into here double click my index file so there's my two images notice now when I click nothing exciting happens it just loads up the image okay that's because we still haven't put in the JavaScript stuff now the JavaScript is all the way down at the bottom okay and what we need is we need these two bits of JavaScript okay this stuff here that's the Google Analytics stuff, so we don't need that. Now the JavaScript you can put up in the head, you can put it in the body. As you can see here, they've actually put it in the bottom part of the body. So that's actually a good way of doing it when you're linking this stuff up. Um, it's a bit of web page optimization, means this stuff all loads up before this stuff. So that works well. So once again, we'll save. I'll come back to here. I'll double click my index. I will allow the block content. And now when I click on it, my light box kicks in. Okay, so that's single page. So let's minimize that again. Now, let's go grab the group stuff. So once up to here, where are we? Okay, so this stuff here is for the grouping. Alright, so just one div, two div, close div, close div. Excellent, so we want that section. So we steal that. Then under here, we'll paste that in here. All right now, if you take a look, all right, you'll see how. See how it says data light box example set, example set, example set. Whereas up here it said example one and example two. That would be your linking. So we'll save that. 
rerun the page, allow the lock content, so these guys here should all be linked. So, my arrow pops up on there, and I can click on it to go to the next one. Alright. I can use the cursors to go forwards and backwards as well. So that's how easy it is to get Lightbox up and running. Okay, so once again, that is the bare minimum you need. You need to link to Lightbox here in the style sheet, you need the JavaScript stuff, and you need to make sure you match this up. Okay, when you're putting in your images, that's the image you load up, that's the thumbnail. Excellent, we're done.